So I've got the charcoal. It's okay. You live it. You live it. I got it. The process you've just seen is the cooking of the charcoal. To Kwagara, Uganda! Hello beautiful humans, this is Minty D in Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel, The Life. Today we are in Wanunda village, which is one of the villages in the Luero district. Now we've been chatting with some locals and they've informed us that there's actually somewhere that, where they make charcoal. So what we're doing is we're going to go and have a look and see whether we can find this place where they're making the charcoal. Now charcoal in Uganda is an incredibly large industry. So Let's see if we can find where they're making the charcoal and learn all about how they make the charcoal, what the business is like about the industry, their challenges, and also maybe a little bit about their understanding of how charcoal and the environment work together. So let's go. And as you see in the Luero district, it is just beautiful. You've got birds, everywhere wildlife you can hear little bugs hey oh it's so peaceful wow this looks cool i feel like i want to come exploring a bit more around some of these areas that don't have more i don't have sort of a a proper pathway <laughs> Yes, great. So this is Bukenya Jamara and he is the owner of this charcoal field. Now he's going to come and show me how they work in the charcoal field. So off I go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Yes. So now, what you do, I can see here you've got the charcoal. How are you actually making the charcoal? Where is this coming from? You're, bur you're burning, is this a fire? Now what we do, we cut down trees. Yes. Now after, after cutting them down, Yes. Uh, we collect them in one place. Yes. Then after collecting them in one place, we get an experienced person yeah. and he helps us. Eh? bind them together oh yeah. and when you say bind them together what's that process can you show me of binding them yes that's okay what we do we do like this yes okay oh i see oh two tw no. answers that and we start doing like this. We don't be put them on a bare ground because if we put them on a bare ground, they won't be burnt by fire because oh. of the soil. Yeah. So we have to put them slightly above. Okay, because it has to be burnt only by the fire. Yes. That's oh. why we first put this, then we put on this one. And then, so so what? And and what do you put on top? Just the wood. On top. Yeah. After so, putting the wood like this, eh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, we do plowing. Okay. We plow the land and put things this way, this way. So it you put it like, like this? Bricks, like this, we put them like You this. put bricks like that. And you put, what do you put on top of here? On top, we get banana, these banana leaves. Eh? Yes. We cover them on top, then we cover with soil. Oh, yes. which is sort of what you, this is what you've done here. Yes. Let's, let's take a quick look at this. So this is a big, what you, this is a binding. Did yeah, you, was, you ones, we binded them, after binding them, we covered them with soil. Oh, <laughs> so you bind them like you showed me before. Yes. And then you put soil on. Yes. What about the banana leaves? You said about the banana leaves. The banana leaves, we cut like this. Yeah. After cutting them, we put them on top. 
So you on put top of the the bind the wood. Yes. So you put the wood. Yes. Whoosh, whoosh, then you're putting the banana leaves. Then you put the soil. Yes. Okay, and you put you're you're putting a lot of wood, right? Yeah, we put a lot of wood. And then how do you make the fire? Can you show me? Like for example here. But we don't start from here. We started from the other side. You started from the other side. We started from the other side. But now the problem you found when it is almost getting finished. Ah. Yeah. Now we leave a hole like here. You leave a hole? Yes, like here. We leave it here. Ah. When when the woods are when you can see wood. Eh? Yes. But here you don't see. Ah. Yes. So if you know that it still needs cooking when you still see some wood. Yeah. And when it is just, when there's nothing, it's just black. That's but now, if we've covered, mm. there's no way we can start fire. But no. before starting fire, we leave a hole like here. Yeah. But the problem is there is soil because fire is already there. Yeah. Now what we do, we get these small, small yeah. woods. And we put them there. But the problem oh. here you cannot see in. wood. You put it in? Yes. Oh wow. <laughs> so what we're doing now, this is now currently a ventilation spot, but before when they first started the, this uh it's kind of like a we'll call it a coal fire home. <laughs> It's where you create the, the, the coal. So initially they, the fire was started on this side. Once it gets towards the time when it's finishing, where it's almost, there's no wood left to make into charcoal, there's a ventilation hole. And I think they also started some fire on the other side. So what you can do is when you still see, when you're still seeing some of the wood coming out, there is still some uh, time left to cook the wood to make it into charcoal. But now there's almost nothing, but we can still put some in here. So I see that you've put the wood in here. Now, what? why have you put the wood in here like this again? The reason why we put the wood there. Eh? Yeah. There are the trees which we cut down. They can be in big size. So you cannot start fire on those big trees. Yeah. On, on that big wood. Now, the reason why we put these small ones, eh? Yes. we start fire on these as it is going on the other bigger ones and you've got the big so the big ones are in the middle the bigger ones are inside they can be inside so so, so we start fire from here as it goes inside and so as these get hot it transfers the heat yeah. to the yeah. aha so as you can see these ones here are smaller dry wood now there are bigger bigger there Inside there are big chunks of wood and it's these smaller ones on the outside that are used. They're heated, they're, they're set on fire and that fire and that heat then transfers into the inside where the bigger logs are, which then, because it's all covered, I'm guessing it creates like this big oven and they're cooking not with fire exactly, but just like strong heat, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, wow. Now after we see that those big logs have caught, have, have caught fire, Yeah. then we cover with soil. And how do you know when they've caught fire? You will be seeing because they, they will be open. We leave a hole here. It's a big hole? Yes. Okay. So there's a big hole that's left open. Now when you see that it's really catching on fire on the inside, that's when they know that it's really starting to work. And when that happens, you cover it, yes? Yes, we cover. And when that happens, that is when they cover this hole so that it can create that real closed furnace and you only have a small hole for ventilation. But we want to try and trap that heat inside so that all of the wood that's inside can really be cooked well and made into beautiful, strong charcoal. So now what we're gonna do, we've seen how the fire is made, the process of creating the charcoal and creating that oven, that, that strong trapped heat. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to go and see how they then break up the charcoal, how it's separated, and then how it's then packed. And I'd love to actually have a go and help. So, 
oh look this is handy <laughs> so then you as, it, as it's coming out here do you you then using this hoe this is garden fork. the garden fork mm -hmm. to pull out the big pieces of charcoal right yeah. so I, i'd love to have a go after you show me how to do it Right, okay. Yeah, but after removing them from fire, from, from that covered whatever, they will be having some fire. Yeah. On them. So what we do, we get the spade. Yeah. And we cover them a bit. Oh, so you pull them out, you drag yes. them out. Yes. Then once you They'll drag them out. They some fire. Yeah, you, so then you we use get the spade and get some fire like this. Okay. And we try to cover them. All right, let me have a little go. Yeah. So, we grab a bit of soil. Cover, 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 yeah. cover. And just small, small, right? Yeah. Great. And then... Yeah. Since this, this soil will be like an oxygen. Okay? Yeah. It will cover the, the fire. And after some time, the fire will go. So is it usually, do you have to wait some, like quite a long time for the fire to, to so it's quick? It takes like just five minutes. Oh, that's very quick. Yeah. Great, so let me, oh wow, wow, oh there's loads. Okay. Now this one has no fire. So this one has no fire. Yes. And then that means we can, so in how you separate it, so you pull this here and then I can see then it's been moved over to here and then you sit and pack it. So let me pull this little bit here. Am I doing this right? Yes. Here. And then I want to sit and help pack them and understand. So here we are, this is what we're doing. So the process you've just seen is the cooking of the charcoal. Then you are pulling out the charcoal that is still hot. Now, when it is still hot, it is covered with some small soil, which takes about five minutes to cool down the hot, uh, I guess the hot sort of coal bits, aren't they really? Now, once the coal has been brought into piles, then the workers sit and pack the coal. So, is there a bag I can use to help? Yeah, this one. Okay. Okay. So let me come and sit with Mummy. Hakati tula Bambi. Sometimes you don't sit. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. So, this, like you're squatting now. You're not yeah, sitting. Oh, I see. So generally you wouldn't, you wouldn't sit. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So then we have our, our sacks, which is so nice and clean. <laughs> uh, and then you're out here packing. Kakati, mami le zungo chitegera nedda. Kakati ele nyali ogwani. Zaitun. Nabukalu zaitun. I'd love to. I'd love to know how long she's been doing this business for. Been working as a what would you call it? A coal packer. So he has spent more than two years doing this business. Spent more than two years doing this business. And what is the biggest challenge for you, Mummy? Then, in some 
Yeah, so Minty is trying to say that some of the challenges he has faced is maybe people who were to put fire on the on this heap of charcoal. Yes. When he does it badly, and then maybe the entire charcoal go into hash. This is also some of the challenges they might face. Oh. And also maybe when they produce so many charcoal and they lack customers. Yeah. So they invest a lot and when the charcoals are in abundance, sometimes they don't have enough customer to take over the entire sum of charcoal. So that is also one of the challenge. And uh, I think they don't have so many <coughs> issues with the, the, the local council here. Okay. Maybe those who take charcoal from them are the ones that face challenges on the road, taking charcoal to Kampala. Right. Yeah. So it seems like there's a lot of charcoal available and there's actually like almost too much charcoal and sometimes you can't sell the produce, the, 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 the product. Is that we, right? We may sell, but the problem, we will be selling it at a low price. Yeah. And what trees are you, ouch, what trees are you using? The trees? Yeah. We just use local trees. And are you, oh, sneezing. <coughs> yeah. So that must be another big challenge for you is the dust yes. getting into your nose. Yes. Wow. And and so I'd love to know, Mummy, what what makes it so important for you to work and what makes you happy? What keeps you going, you know? What what motivates you? So uh, <laughs> So, okay. the, the handsome guy you see in front of you is a son of the of our beautiful mom. Oh! So the money she used to take him to school, oh. she got it from this kind of business. Oh, that's wonderful. So that motivates her to keep on working every day such that he can sustain the family, oh. take the children to school. And this guy is uh, a professional nurse. No, I'm a laboratory assistant. Laboratory assistant. A what assistant? Laboratory <gasps> assistant. Oh, oh, you're a scientist. Yeah, so, and all fruits comes from the hard work of the mother from this kind of business. And, okay, if you're a scientist, I'd like to know, how do you think that coal is sustainable for the environment? How, because obviously there's lots of trees here, and there's an abundance of trees, how do you think coal will be useful over a period of time? Do you think it's sustainable for the environment? Oh. Do you think that this kind of activity is sustainable? To the environment, or what do you do to make sure that the, the environment also stays, but you are also still in the business? What is the measures you take to make the sure there is sustainability? Take. Sometimes, yeah. eh? if we cut down these trees, yes, some of them we'll regenerate. Yeah, ah, yeah, they may even regenerate. So you can, can you show him a, a sample of that tree that regenerates? Yes. Yeah, so now what we're going to do is we, I'm going to see a tree that actually ha uses fire to regenerate because we're also, we're also interested in how it's, it is a sustainable industry because obviously if you're, you're burning coal and you're making coal, um, there is an impact on the environment. So I'd like to know which plants are going, which trees are going to be um, regenerated from the use of f burning. Now, if we cut the, if we cut down these trees, yes, some of them regenerate. 
Yes. For example, like this one you are saying. This was an avocado tree. We ah! cut it down. Yes. We cut it down for charcoal, but now it is regenerating. Wow. So avocado is a tree that actually is yeah. sustainable. So yes. you can cut down the tree, but then it regenerates again. Yes, yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And sometimes what we do, after cutting them down, we replant other trees. Okay. Yes, we are forestation. Reforestation. Yes. That's great. Very good. So as you can see, there's a real emphasis not only on keeping the business, but also trying to make sure that it's also sustainable. So there are trees that can be planted after it's been removed. There's also trees that once they're cut down, they will regenerate. So what's happening here is a, a sort of like cyclical. So it's in a circle. So you're burning down, you're cutting, but then you're also replanting and trees that don't need replanting are just regenerating. Yeah. So what keeps us working is that after getting money from here, yeah, we go to school. Yes. After going to school, we get some employment. Though we are getting little money, mm. yeah, the salaries. We get very, very little money. Mm. That's why on weekends, we come to the garden and do some farming so that we can add on more. Extra. So apart from doing charcoal, he's also doing other work because there is not enough money in charcoal, in a lot of these industries, it's really hard to get enough profit to keep going, to keep surviving. So you're also doing agriculture to get to gain money to look after your family. Yes. Is there any other jobs that you're doing? You've got charcoal, which you're doing your full time. You're also doing whenever you can on the weekends. You're doing agriculture to yes. to supplement the income that you the, the little income that you're getting from charcoal. What else are you doing to help bring in funds for your family? What else I do? Mm. I'm a healthy worker. He's a healthy worker. Yes, yes we like that. I'm a laboratory assistant. Yes, so he's also a laboratory assistant. Wow. Yes, okay. A medical laboratory assistant. So, oh my gosh, so you've got three different jobs. So during the week, you're doing charcoal? During, no, during the week, for example, from Monday to Friday, I go to the hospital yes. and do the health work. Do the health work, yes. the lab laboratory assistant. Yes. But now on weekends, that's when I get time for this charcoal plus farming. To add on the other small money I get from health working. Wow. Yes. So you're working three jobs and you're working every day, all day, and you're working weekends. Yes. So that's health working, charcoal, farming, yes. everything and anything possible to make an income. Bro, you are doing an incredible job. You've got, you've got, it's a family business. You're doing it here with your mum. Yes. You've got a small team, but you're working hard and you're smiling. Yes. <laughs> and happy. And I love that. Thank you. Yes. Mami, tu balloon jinyo. Balloon jinyo, kakati, balloon jinyo. Yes. Silimba. Chilunji. Aha. Chilunji. So, mum here is very happy to be helping her son. The, this, this business has, has put her son through school and it helps to keep the family running. And although She's obviously sitting down, so she doesn't have the energy as she used to, or like the other gentleman here, but she's still working hard, really hard and making sure that she can support her family. It's an absolutely incredible job here. It's a small team, but they're working very hard and they're doing the best that they can with what they have and supplementing it in any other way possible. So it's really important here in different scenarios to use what you can, when you can, and in, ever, in whatever way you can. Because in the village, a lot of people don't have the means to pay for gas, to get gas, but mostly it's, it's an income issue. So gas is really expensive. So what, what's being done is that people have a small plot of land, they're planting 
what they can so they can survive off the produce that's on that land. And then any excess trees, for example, avocado trees that are being cut down, uh, they are then being able to be used for charcoal. And then that charcoal is then sustaining the family. So it's really cyclical. And, and when someone is not able to afford gas, charcoal is really important and especially in these rural settings. So they're planting the food, the food's growing, it's being used, then the excess trees, the trees that are no longer being needed, are then used to make charcoal. That charcoal is then used to cook and help feed the family. <laughs> So getting money for the family so that you can pay for them to go to school in the city. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Getting money for your home and for your family. Despite the challenges, there is always a, a moment. Despite the challenges, there's always a moment to celebrate. So I want to celebrate with mummy by having a bit of a dance, a bit of a boogie, because life is full of challenges. But if you do not celebrate those small things and what you have, then what's the point? So, Mama, are you ready? Kakati, kakati, olele aku kakere mo agalo wa o, bana, tu gende, tu gende, tu gende, Maganda, Muganda, kala le tu te gende. Let's have a bit of a dance. <laughs> so now what we have here, we have a different way of tying because you want they want to try and get as much charcoal in there as possible. So banana fiber is used once again and holes are made and then it's threaded through in multiple different ways to ensure that you can get as much charcoal in the sack as possible. And I'm going to see if I can carry this one. We're waiting, there's a few ways of transport. So you've got motorbike, which is the boater. You've also got bicycle as well. So I'm going to take this one to the bicycle and they're going to take this sack of charcoal on the bicycle to the village. Or at least some short distance. We're going to take the sack to the, to the bike where it's going to be loaded up and um, then it's going to go off on its way to the village. <laughs> lean it forward, lean it forward. Maso, 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 maso. <laughs> so now what I'm doing, so I've got the charcoal. It's okay, you leave it, you leave it, I got it. I've got it, Kakashi. You leave it, I've got it. I'm taking. You leave it, you let it go. Ah! Okay. Let me get the right angle this way. And now, let me just get right. No, no, back on, back on, back on. Back on. Ah, ah. Up, 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 lift up. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going this way. Ay, 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 ay. So it is a real challenge to get this through and around. We're gonna load it onto the bike. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're amazing. Oh, wow. Well, and that was with a bit of help. That was really heavy and intense. You've got this charcoal poking into your back but they have this incredible strength and resilience and just this really incredible work ethic and just, we have to do this, we have to make it work. 
So we've just packed the char one bag charcoal and you see we can only carry one on this one at a time. So now it's the time that we take the charcoal bag into the village and it gets loaded onto a boater and we bring multiple sacks around. So let's just go around that corner there. And then it's taken off to the city and sold. Now, because there's a surplus of charcoal, the thing is, is that they're only getting a small price for it. And yet it's very labor intensive. The work is hard and it's heavy. And you're out in the sun a lot, aren't you? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Off we go to market. <laughs>